you know, like being with Victoria's Secret for so long, uh, it's been a great time. You know, they're my family. I remember from the first show that we went to Cannes in a Concord and I had all these amazing models that I looked up to, uh, Stephanie Samer, Carrie Miller, and all those girls were doing the show and I was like, I'm like I can't believe I'm the same runaway with like sharing the runaway with them uh, to now that I, I can't believe I'm still here, you know? <laughs> and, but I just love doing it and when I do, I feel like the other girls, you know, I feel like I'm 20 years old. <laughs> uh, but they do make me feel young, you know, like sometimes when I'm at home with my kids, I have my routine, you know, taking being a mom and working and my brand. But then when I'm with the girls, we can just kind of like let it go, get it loose and, and just have fun with the runway show, with the artists that are, you know, they sing on the show. So it's just, it's, it's like a party time for me. Okay, I remember all my outfits, but yeah, it's special one. Yes, I remember the first one. And um, that show, yes, 1999, it was in uh, downtown New York, in Wall Street, Cipriani. Wall Street and it was a huge thing because internet was like this big thing and it was the first fashion show that it was live on internet and you could log, log in you know and watch and also it was uh, on Times Square I remember on the big screen in Times Square I was telling all my friends ah oh, you go watch I was so excited and it was my the biggest job I got in my career. So I remember walking in, seeing Stephanie Seymour, Tyra Banks, Leticia Costa, Heidi Klum, and I could not believe it that I would be working next to these huge supermodels, you know, in the Victoria's Secret show. Lifted so you have that really strong ballet posture, and okay. then we add the tone. Down and up. Good. Perfect. Two. I have so many favorite moments. Hmm, probably the most emotional one for me would be when I got to close one of the Victoria's Secret shows wearing a Swarovski crystal corset to the weekend performing I Can't Feel My Face because that was such an iconic song. And that moment to me, on the way back, I was pretty much crying. <laughs> I was so overwhelmed knowing that I had the honor of closing the entire show. I had these huge LED light up wings. It was really heavy, but I powered through it and that was probably my favorite, absolutely my favorite moment. We'll do 10. Good. So one minute of just some movement to get the blood flowing and the body. I was wearing this kind of uh, very, I think it was kind of chiffon, very light material bra, like it was like a brown, yellowish color. Our hair was very long, all the way down to the waist, you know, and we were like kind of flower crowns kind of thing. And uh, looking back, the show is so different from how it was, like it was just a plain runaway, no like different stages, like changed. Uh, on our background, no musicians, uh, no any time of, no any type of performance going on, nothing. So and to see all the the road and all the transformation of Victoria's Secret and the angels, even the angel wings, you know, all the, how different they are now, different materials. It's unbelievable to to be part of it, you know, and be here. Well, I think the first time I wore the fantasy bra, it had this beautiful orchid's uh, wings on the side, and the and the fantasy bra had like little flowers and butterflies. It was so beautiful. So and Rihanna was singing on the runway. So it's like you know, it's like those moments you will never forget. And and I did, I do have like so you know, like from every year, there's so many beautiful outfits. But I think that one stands out. Thirty of these too. And then the other leg. Sure that you do it on the other leg too. <laughs> yes, we want